Hey guys, this is Torno and today we have some very, very exciting news. It looks like Gambit and Rogue have been added back into the roadmap over at Scopely. Now I got this message from someone. I'm not entirely sure how much I trust them yet. It's obviously a new source. It's not my traditional source. But he's talking here about how he has a friend who works there in the development department and they had a look at the new roadmap. And it looks like Gambit and Rogue are due to be released within the next year. He said back in February they were due to be released, uh, which lines up with what we did think back there. There was a few different rumors flying around back then that were going to be coming in February for Valentine's. But they ended up delaying it due to Marvel pushing all the games to be doing stuff for Black History Month, uh, which we did see we had like a whole spew, a, a sprue of... Um, different uh blitzes and stuff we had bishop and stuff like that uh, so it looked like they kind of switched gears however they did get touch-ups back in november i've had a couple sources that kind of told me that as well um and that was like just before they started all this astonishing stuff uh so it kind of makes sense and it looks like it's going to be the Jim Lee went one, which also lines up with, I think I've had like three different sources telling me that it's going to be the Jim Lee version um, from different people who have worked at the art department. And now their friend said that it's Valentine's next year is a possibility, depending on the player's base morale though, it's potential that we get them added sooner. Kind of like how Silver Surfer felt like a, in case of emergency, break glass. I think that's what they're planning on doing with Gammon and Rogue. If the morale drops too low, and certainly my morale has dropped a quite a bit lately um so i don't know maybe we do end up getting them sooner for that uh astonishing or uncanny team they said he didn't know which team they're on but they're going to both be on the same team which makes sense and alongside lots of synergy now that's all the information i got from them unfortunately i did try and press for a little bit more to know a bit more about gammon and rogue as you guys can suspect but unfortunately not much. But hey guys, this video is sponsored by Dragon Champions. If you love the look of classic RPGs like Warcraft and enjoy squad fighter games like Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and Marvel Strike Force, this is the game for you. The developers have poured their heart out to create a fantastic game with an interesting and engaging story, energetic and fun dialogues, and Easter eggs and references to all your favorite fantasy worlds. With more than 60 heroes from the wild tribal orcs to the calm Zen pandas, there's a faction for everyone to enjoy in the united fight against evil. The game is completely free to play and you can do everything without spending, but if you do want to do more, there's some amazing deals to be had with some really great value. Now, as a massive Warcraft nerd, I've been going really hard on the orcs and honestly, I just love their play style as a team and they each feel really unique. Meanwhile, my wife's been enjoying the panda faction a lot. They seem like a really fun faction, juggling around the buffs on themselves and working together, and she might have even wailed a little bit to get ahead, but the good thing is that the offers weren't too expensive for her. Now, the great thing is the developers are currently giving away an awesome starter pack. If you're below level 15, head on up to the settings and click use promo code. The code you want to use is Torna, obviously, and that's going to get you 250,000 gold, 500 Draco coins, 500 NG, and a whole new hero, Corcoran. And not only that, it supports my channel. So what are you waiting for? Head on down to the description, click the links to download the game and get started kicking some ass. Good luck and see you there. I mean, Gambit and Rogue both being on the same team makes sense. They've had a lot of kind of flirtatious stuff throughout their history in the comics, a lot on and on, on again, off again relationship for quite a while until they kind of tied the knot um, not that long ago. Then there was a new series that came out after it, which was the Mr. and Mrs. X one, the Rogue and Gambit series just before this. And honestly, they are some of my favorite favorite comics of all time we have them um, my wife and I have them we've got a special edition of this one where they got married and we're going to get a display case and put them up because honestly they're just amazing Gambit and Rogue are like our favorite heroes altogether. Now, as for who Gambit is, I mean, most of you guys probably know who Gambit is. He's the guy who can charge and manipulate kinetic energy, um, usually throwing cards with explosive results kind of thing. Um, but he can do other stuff like charging, like uh, people's armor and stuff. He was fighting Captain America and charged his armor. Um, there was potential reality where he ended up becoming this all-powerful god. Yeah, so in this alternate reality, he basically ended up losing control of his powers, charged himself up, ended up wiping out all of the uh, life on Earth. And then this Gambit, uh, our Gambit, ended up going and fighting him and stuff. Uh, it was actually a pretty 
weird comic book series. I didn't mind it. Um, but he has the power to just be insanely, insanely strong. And he is probably a lot of people's top 10, uh, like mutant characters. A lot of people's probably top 10 Marvel characters altogether, to be honest. Um, and I'm really surprised we didn't have him already. Um, but Honestly, I'm pretty hyped for this. There's a this is the Jim Lee look, the classic. Like if you're thinking of Gambit, that's who you're probably thinking of. The pink kind of, um, the pink vest, uh, like the art body armor with the trench coat and the bow staff and stuff like that. But there are other looks that we could potentially get. It's like skins. There's his Excalibur look when he's over in the alternate reality, which looks really cool. It's like a cool rogue outfit. Uh, rogue outfit um with like body armor and shoulder pads and stuff like that kind of classic rpg uh, rpg look and then there's this actual like excalibur outfit as well where he's got like slightly different armor and stuff different look on his chest um which is more the modern day look in the current kind of in the current comics um that's the look that he has at the moment um but there's also like the death if they add in apocalypse you could get like a death outfit which would be insanely cool i really really like that as well and there's the extreme x-men you can see here both gambit and rogue in their extreme outfits now there's also obviously rogue who will be coming alongside him um obviously her powers are she absorbs powers away from people um if you've seen the movies that's similar to her powers like that's basically her powers except in the comics she has this permanent power set uh similar to like captain marvel she had captain marvel's powers for quite a while now she has wonder man's powers um where she's like permanently absorbed like super strengths fly those kind of like classic power up kind of um superpowers uh she also now can drain from a distance so she doesn't actually have to be touching people and stuff in the comics to be able to drain away i fully suspect that if we get gambit he's most likely going to be like a controller well i should say when we get gambit he's going to be like a controller or a blaster both of those suit well but i more suspect he's going to be a controller alongside rogue who's either going to be a protector which i think would be really cool like a drain based protector um that potentially can steal away charges because if you have a think about it we most recently got a character that can manipulate charges with um with silver surfer who can now manipulate charges so having another character come not long after him who can also manipulate charges makes sense a lot um so maybe like a drain based tank or like a brawler with drain that kind of maybe gives them all drain or something like that there's a lot of potential ways they can take their kits. It kind of depends on if they end up on that Uncanny or the Astonishing Squad. I'm personally hoping for Astonishing. Astonishing, honestly, is one of my favorite teams of all time. And I'm enjoying them a lot more than I've probably ever enjoyed Uncanny. Especially because I can use them in like all the game modes. Now, as for Rogue's outfit, most likely we get the kind of green and uh, green and yellow kind of one piece leotard kind of thing with the brown um, the brown jacket. That's classic Rogue. Like I can't see them doing anything else. Obviously, there is a lot of other looks that they could go for, but this one I fully do suspect that's what we end up getting. But we've also got like the current one from. Um, the uh, Excalibur look as well. Um, if they wanted to do, do like Excalibur looks, they could do this one alongside um, the one from Remy, whether it's going to be this one or this one. Both of them are pretty cool. This is like a, uh, just a more modernized version of this. Like it's basically looks very similar. Uh, so you can see like the classic guy, like green, less yellow, more green though. Then you've got the one from Age of Apocalypse. I don't think this will be a, like her main look, but I do suspect that it'll be like a, a skin down the road because this look is just amazing overall. And then finally, you've got like the Savage Lands one, which is me dreaming, com <laughs> completely dreaming that I'd ever get that. I doubt Scopely would go that far as to add that in. I think that people would get a bit annoyed with it. But honestly, I would be down for that and uh, probably not use any other outfit than that, as much as my wife probably will yell at me. Um, but honestly, I do, don't think they'll kind of stray away from the yellow and green leotard with a brown jacket. 
But I am insanely, insanely hyped about this. Uh, it's been a while since I've been this hyped about the game. So I really hope that this contact is kind of on on track here. Um, honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if we do get them for Valentine's next year. Uh, they said they're within the next year. So it could be Valentine's next year or it could be earlier than that, depending on how morale is, I guess. So I guess if you want them, make sure you go message uh, Scopely and say it because uh, just say that you've lost morale in the game and you need Gammon and Rogue to pick you up. But um, I'm joking there. <laughs> I mean, you can message them and tell them you want Gammon and Rogue, but probably don't tell them that part. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and I'd love to hear from you guys what you think. Obviously, we've had a few kind of misses here with Gammon and Rogue rumors. I don't know if it's kind of uh, if this one's going to be a miss or not, but I can definitely see something like this happening. I don't see them going in like another year without adding more X-Men and Gambit Rogue. I mean, Nightcrawler is probably the next one. Uh, maybe there's a new X-Men team coming next year, like around like December this year, January next year. Who knows? There's a lot of kind of cool stuff they can do here. Uh, but I'd love to hear from you guys what you think. That's it for today. Have a great day and goodbye. <laughs>